Hi everyone, it's Gerda Muller here from Private Practice Success. I'm at my local home practice today and I thought, hang on, I want to take five minutes time out and I want to make a video, especially for the guys, that you, that is in my Private Practice Success groups on Facebook. So nobody else is going to be, see, be seeing this other than yourselves. Okay, so what prompted me to share this information with you? Well, I'm at Logan Home today, as I said, so I see uh, my clients once every fortnight, so every second Wednesday, I'm here at Logan Home. And today was the first day that I had the opportunity to work here at the practice with my new receptionist. So um, I wasn't involved in the recruitment or hiring or even the training of this new receptionist. It was done by my principal psychologist. So I'm really very fortunate to have a principal that can do that role for me. Of course, they've all gone through my training, the private practice success training. So I know that they're doing a good job. But that being said, I think it's really important for me as the practice owner to ultimately always make sure that things are running smoothly and that things are happening as they are supposed to. So that meant that today, with the first day being me here with the new receptionist, I had to spend some time in reception. So I looked at the diary and I saw that there were quite a number of new clients booked in and um, I made sure that I was in reception when one of these new clients arrived. Why? Because I wanted to see how my new receptionist is going to introduce herself and then administer the new client paperwork. We know that it can be so overwhelming for clients when they come for that first session. And it is so important that the receptionist, who is the first person the client gets to see and meet when they enter your practice doors, are able to build rapport, engage with the client, and make sure that they are comfortable. All right. If you can imagine, I know for me personally, I've often walked into um, dare I say a GP surgeries, uh, you know, and other type of service and um, product businesses where I would walk up to reception just to be ignored or where I'm treated in a way where it feels like I'm an interruption to that person sitting at the desk. And it's so important for us to know and for your receptionist to know that when a client comes into the practice, they are not an interruption. They are not an interruption of your job. They are the purpose of your job. So I wanted to make sure, first of all, that the receptionist drops everything she's doing. Of course, if she's on the phone, she's not going to drop the phone, but at least make immediate eye contact and give a beautiful smile to the person and help you in a minute and deal with the phone call. Lucky she wasn't on a phone call when the client walked in, but I also wanted to see, and I'm so glad she did, move away from behind the desk. Okay, because if you think about it, we've got a very traditional waiting room set up. There is a reception desk between the receptionist and between the clients. And yes, that has to be there because there's a lot of client information often on that desk that needs to be protected. You know, our diaries on that computer. So we need that barrier there. But when it is a new client coming in for the first time, I expect my receptionist to take the new client paperwork, move around the desk and walk with the client and go and sit with them on the couch or on one of the chairs and calmly take them through the new client paperwork. Okay, so it's not about quickly rushing through it. It's not about standing at the desk where, where they feel like, oh, these people coming to pay, these people in the, in the line or, you know, everybody that's sitting is watching at me. No, you want to reduce that anxiety as much as possible. So it's important for your receptionist to take that person, sit down with them and calmly take them through the new client paperwork, you know, in a way that shows you are important. You're not just a number. You're not an interruption. I do have time for you. And it's important for me to spend this time with you, taking you through the new client paperwork. And I'm glad to say that I saw all of that with my reception. So the training has worked. And I really want to encourage you to make sure that you spend the time in the waiting room looking at what happens there. How does your receptionist treat the clients when they come in? Reception is such an important part of your business. You cannot neglect them. 
and do not assume that they are doing the right thing. We all drop the ball every now and then. So please make the time and go and check. That's all from me for today. As always, if you've got any comments or questions, please just post them down below. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Bye.